one of the greatest things that happened to a woman when she begins to operate in her femininity is this one major thing. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. There is one major change you will see when you begin to operate in your femininity as a woman. The number one thing you will see and recognize and understand is that everything is not that serious. When you begin to lean into your femininity as a woman and you get more in touch with your feminine essence, the way you flow and operate as a woman, you will soon realize that everything is not that serious. Everything is not your fight. Everything is not a battle. Everything doesn't have to be struggle. You are able to just flow and be free as a woman. When I say be free as a woman, it's almost as if you're going back to girlhood. You are able to experience those things that you might not have been able to experience as a young girl. If you grew up in an environment where you were not able to really feel safe, where you were not really able to just be free flowy and carefree because you had people putting pressure on you to be so strong, so tough, so hard. When you become a woman and you lean into your femininity, you suddenly get the urge to be more girly and do the things you were never able to do. See, people look at femininity as a weakness, but it is really strength. It is soft strength. It is a woman's way of saying that I am strong, but I am strong in a more resilient kind of way. I am not strong as in the masculine type of strong. I am strong enough to understand that I deserve to rest. I am strong enough to understand that mentally I can't handle everything, nor do I want to. And when you adopt that mentality, you begin to partake in things that support your feminine wellness. What do I mean by support your feminine wellness? Feminine wellness is taking care of your mind, your body, and your spirit before you take care of anything else. No more self-sacrificing for the greater good of someone else, i.e. except your children. Of course, that mama bear instinct kicks in. But feminine women no longer sacrifice their mental, physical, and spiritual health and well-being in order to prove themselves to other people in order to prove their value. Leaning into your femininity helps you to escape that need, that urge to prove that you are valuable based on the things that you are doing and it becomes more so about who you are as a woman. When you begin to support your feminine wellness, your feminine physically, mentally, and spiritually, you now rest when you need to rest. You now make sure you get enough sleep when you're able to get enough sleep. I understand that a lot of us have busy lives, but once again, when you lean into your femininity, you begin to realize that your body is precious, that your body has, you know, it's sensitive and it can't do things that a man can do, that you are not built to withstand a lot of intense pressure, be it physical or mental for long periods of time. As women, when you lean into your feminine essence, you now value yourself so much so that you are willing to take a step back from those things that are aggravating you, whether it be physically or mentally, and you take a time out. And when you take that time out, you get in touch with your girl. And what do I mean by getting in touch with your girl? You can develop little habits throughout your day, throughout your life that support your femininity and help you to stay more connected to your womanly feminine girl side. For me, I like to do something as simple as drinking out of cute teacups and mugs, coffee mugs. You know, I've been drinking out of this coffee mug all month because it's now the fall season. I have others, but I like this one. You know, drinking out of cute little mugs out of teacups, you know, when you are more in the masculine way of thinking as a woman, you might look at that as like, oh, that's so corny. That's so shallow. You know, who cares about what your mug looked like? Who cares about what your teacup looks like? As long as I'm drinking my coffee, I just need my coffee. Put it in anything. Feminine women do not think that way. We very much feel better when our surroundings and even our utensils, the things that we use, are cute. For me, I don't know if you noticed those pictures on my wall back there, but the one underneath of it says, glitter makes me happy. 
And when I walk into this room and see that picture, it makes me happy. When I see that Chanel picture on the top with the perfume image and the flowers, that makes me happy. It makes me feel more feminine. It makes me feel more girly. It keeps me in that softer space. When you are in your femininity, you do things like that. You don't take life so seriously. You don't allow this life to harden you. You don't allow people to cause you to develop a hardened shell where you can no longer be that girly girl, that soft woman, where you can no longer have that compassion or empathy or just that lightheartedness about yourself. You don't let people do that to you. And because you don't let people do that to you, you develop ways to keep yourself in the feminine energy. This mug says fiercely feminine because I believe that is me. I am fiercely feminine and I'm not conceited for saying that. And you should believe that about you too. Also wearing dainty jewelry. You know, I started wearing this necklace, like I've been wearing this necklace straight for like a year and a half. Um, good quality, number one, good silver, number one. Number two, I love how it sits in the middle of my chest. I love my collarbone. I love my shoulders. And when I wear this, um, excuse me, my hair got my lip. Goodness. When I wear this, even when I'm just running out somewhere real quick, you know, I'll still put this on because to me, it adds that added feminine flair for me. I'm putting on cute little earrings, you know, studs, you know, wearing those kind of things, cute carnigans, you know, during this time of year, because it is the fall season, you know, as women, I think we should try to get away from those darker colors because a lot of women deal with things like seasonal affective disorder and, you know, other things that might make you feel a little bit depressed, especially because the sun is not out as much. So that's when you have to improvise and do things like lighten up your clothing, you know, wear beautiful clothing, wear more light colors throughout the winter season. You know, I love beautiful cardigans. I've been wearing more creams and more lush pinks and more rosy pinks and whites and creams, mm -hmm. you know, doing those kind of things as women will help you to stay in your feminine energy. When you care about how you look and care about how you present to the world, that really helps you to stay in that feminine place. Once again, it comes down to not letting the world harden you. And many women have developed this hard shell and have become so masculine because of their surroundings, because of their environment, because of the way they've been programmed to believe that being feminine, being more ladylike, being more girly is considered childish in some way. And I think for women, the older we get, the more we need to connect with our femininity. Because as you get older, life can get a little bit more hard. Life can get a little bit more complicated. Your physical changes can kind of take a toll on you. And if you are not careful, you will allow yourself to become a woman that just is flowing through life. You're just trying to survive and you're not really living your life. So as women, do things to keep you in that feminine energy. Little things, wear dainty jewelry, sip your tea or your coffee out of cute teacups and tea mugs, light candles and incense. I love lighting candles in my homes because it creates a beautiful environment for us. And I love the smell. Once again, it's about how you feel. Don't let the outside world make your inner life hard. If you're going out to work every day, dealing with people, dealing with issues, you're doing what you have to do. When you get inside of your home, your house should be your sanctuary. Your house should be a place of comfort and coziness for you. Also, wear perfumes and lotions and moisturize your body when you get out of the shower. I mean, take your time and moisturize when you get out the shower or the bath. Wearing beautiful fragrances and beautiful scents. And they don't have to be necessarily high-end fragrances. I like a lot of Bath and Body Works. I like a lot of Victoria's Secret, as you see a little bit back there. But I also like, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I've probably been pronouncing it wrong all this time. But Idole by Lancome. I absolutely love that perfume. It is very like floral, but vanilla. And it's like the notes in that is very feminine. I absolutely love wearing feminine fragrances because once again, it makes me feel more feminine. It makes me feel more girly. And then also you can partake in like feminine hobbies, you know, do things that just 
make you feel good. You know, decorate your home. It's the fall season. So I'm in the middle of decorating. I've already decorated my living room, but I'm kind of behind on my dining room. So I'm about to decorate our windows and put the little, you know, it's fall y'all, you know, kind of things in the window. Doing things like that, being feminine is not about like just how you look. It's the things you do and how you carry yourself. And even deeper than just your decorations, it's how you treat yourself. When you carry yourself with class, with grace, when you flow throughout your day, and you're not so mean to people and you're not mean to yourself. You're not mean mugging all day, just walking around looking mad, try to pop out a smile. Doing those kind of things will help you to stay in the feminine energy. I know for me, the one thing that I really used to struggle with is when people would look at me, I would automatically assume that there's a problem. I would be thinking like, why are you looking at me? What's the problem? That kind of thing. Not until I started getting compliments. And I'm not saying this to, you know, toot my own horn or anything like that or be conceited. But not until I started getting compliments from other women did I realize that, okay, when people look at you, there's not always an issue. Sometimes they're admiring you. I had to say to myself, why do people look at beautiful flowers? Because they're beautiful. And as women, especially when you're coming off of being more masculine in nature, you have to get accustomed to people maybe looking at you and complimenting you and not always taking it as if it's a negative. So my thing, and this is just a little side note, give people the benefit of the doubt before you're ready to snap and say, what are you looking at? What's your problem? Da -da -da -da. Because a lot of times I've had women say, your hair is cute, sis. I like that. Or I like your necklace or that's cute. And the whole time I'm thinking they're looking at me like they have a problem. So those kind of things you have to get accustomed to when you lean into your femininity. And that brings me to the next point of seeing the good in things, seeing the positive and not always looking to the negative. When you lean into your feminine energy, you really decide to see the best in life. And this is really just being a woman who's more in tune spiritually. When you're more in tune spiritually and you understand that you have God in your life, I hope you have God in your life, and that you know things that are meant for you will work out, you begin to look at things in a more positive light and you don't always look at things from the negative point of view. I know the way our world is shaped and programmed, we're programmed to look at things from the negative, but when you lean into your femininity, you have so much gratitude for everything. I tell you, there's some days I will sit in my house and I just say, thank you, God, for my house. Thank you, Lord, for my bed. Thank you, God, for these beautiful pillows and blankets that I have. Thank you for comfort. You know, there's something about expressing gratitude that when you express gratitude for the things that you have, no matter how small it might be, that opens you up to receive more. And that makes you feel good and once again keeps you in that feminine place. So as women, make sure, especially as a feminine woman, if you want to be more feminine and lean into your feminine energy, express gratitude and do not allow this world to harden you. Keep your surroundings light, keep yourself pure, and do things and adorn yourself in ways that make you feel good, all right? And drink your tea and coffee out of those cute coffee tea mugs and coffee cups because it's going to keep you in that feminine energy. And I surely got that backwards. I meant coffee mugs and tea cups. You know what I mean. But first, if you haven't already, put that high heel emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that like button and subscribe. And check out the All Things Woman podcast. It is now posted. Take care.